Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, December 19th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 478 and that's the rundown. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Yang Mi and Xu Kai's She and Her Perfect Husband acquires its distribution license. Ellen Ren and Li Qing wrap their latest dramas. Douban ratings and why I refer to them. And Li Qinglei drops a bombshell on social media, accusing Wang Lihong of infidelity and many other misdeeds. And we'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week, as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, just the one drama for today and the past few days. The Flowers Are Blooming is a costume drama starring Kiki Xu and Huang Shengchi, and it premiered earlier today. The drama follows a talented princess played by Kiki Xu, who has an architecture dream. She sneaks out of the palace and by chance meets a craftsman played by Huang Shengchi, who is an architecture genius. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, Reset has acquired its online record number and is getting ready to hit streaming sites. That's according to this December 16th Cinna article. Reset is an upcoming modern suspense drama starring Bai Jingting and Angel Zhao, and it revolves around the time loop plot device. It tells the story of a game designer played by Bai Jingting and a college student played by Angel Zhao, who both die in a bus explosion, but wake up to find themselves stuck in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over again, hence the title Reset. Not the most original idea, if I'm honest. In fact, it's one that's been used over and over again in movies and dramas. But it's one of those ideas that if the filmmakers can approach in a new way, I will still find entertaining. Moving on, She and Her Perfect Husband has an update. According to this December 17th Cine article, they recently acquired their distribution license and will be airing soon. She and Her Perfect Husband is an upcoming modern drama starring Yang Mi and Xu Kai. With Novoland Pearl Eclipse ending its run not long ago, it looks like fans of Yang Mi will not have to wait long to see her in a new drama. In She and Her Perfect Husband, Yang Mi's character's law firm requires that all lawyers under their employment be married, and she's not. So in order to meet that requirement, she gets into a contract marriage with Xu Kai's character, a carefree, tortoise-loving dude. And to follow standard operating procedure in all contract marriage dramas, they get on each other's nerves in the beginning, but later on fall in love. More updates on She and Her Perfect Husband and Reset as they provide them. And lastly for drama news, Ching Jun has wrapped. Ching Jun, literally translated as Please Sir, is an upcoming Republican era drama starring Ellen Ren and Li Qing, and they officially wrapped on December 17th. They also released a bunch of posters on the day. Here is Ellen Ren's character, who according to Baidu, is a god of war who is supposed to be thousands of years old. So I said this is a Republican era drama, but there's also apparent fantasy themes that take it back to ancient times. Here's Ellen Ren in ancient garb. And here's Li Qing's character, who according to Baidu is a 24-year-old bandit who was a goddess in her previous life. Moving on, I was gonna do the top 10 highest rated modern dramas of 2021, but decided to push that to another episode because there's already so much news to cover in this episode. However, I do want to mention something about Douban ratings, which is what these lists are based on. I've actually spoken about this before in a previous video, but it's worth mentioning again as it was brought up a few times in last video's comment section. So I frequently refer to Douban for two reasons mainly. One, it's the most widely used review and rating site in the Chinese entertainment circle. When Sina or Sohu or any big news site talk about a movie or drama's ratings, they refer to Douban most of the time. And the second reason is that I find that Douban ratings correlate quite closely to my personal taste in dramas. Not perfectly, but close enough. 
Like, Nirvana and Fire has an outstanding 9.4 rating, and I feel the drama is a masterpiece. The Longest Day and Chang'an sits at 8.2, which feels just about right with me. And more recent ones like The Ideal City and The Bond have ratings in the mid and high 7s, which I can concur with. Now there's the whole thing of anti-fans of a certain star going to the site and downvoting their drama without even watching it. While well, at the same token, fans of the star can also go onto the site and upvote a drama without watching it, so it really works both ways. And all review sites are susceptible to this kind of behavior, so it's not unique to Douban. At the end of the day, Douban is a site that gets ratings from fans, anti-fans, and believe it or not, from people who have actually watched the show and are putting in sincere ratings as well. If you find that the site helps, use it. If not, ignore it. Personally, I find that it's still reliable most of the time. Okay, that's it for drama stuff. Moving on, celebrity news. And I got just a one big update for you guys. Here is a December 18th Straits Times headline. Singer Wang Li Hong's ex-wife releases expose, alleges multiple infidelities. So what seemed to me like a relatively unalarming divorce announcement by Wang Li Hong earlier this week has blown up into something way more controversial and headline grabbing. Just to recap, 45-year-old Taiwanese-American singer, songwriter, and actor Wang Li Hong took to Weibo earlier this week to share that he and Li Jinglei were living separately and had filed for divorce. Two days later, Li Jinglei dropped a nine-page bombshell on social media, accusing Wang Li Hong of, among other things, cheating, soliciting prostitutes, being verbally abusive, and being an absent father. I obviously won't go through all 9 pages, but here are some of the highlights, or lowlights depending on how you look at it. Li Jinglei describes how Wang Li Hong maintained several friends with benefits relationships, adding that he had different sex partners in every city, and that he even frequently solicited prostitutes. She also recounts what happened when she first got to know him, when she was still underage, saying that he would call her and flirt with her. She laments how he and his family forced her into signing an unfair prenuptial agreement. She said, I understand if you want to protect the assets you have before marriage, but the assets you have after marriage are the fruits of both our labor. It is a result of us both doing the work we are supposed to do. Yet the house is under your name. The car is under your mother's name. All the assets have been cleanly cut off from me, as if you're so deeply afraid that I might take advantage of you. She adds that she gave up her career to be a stay-at-home mom as he was eager to have kids. They have two daughters and a son together. She recalls that he asked for a divorce, and when she refused, he verbally abused and humiliated her. When Wang Li Hong first announced the divorce, rumors started spreading that he had been involved with a couple of high-profile women. One of them was Taiwanese actress Vivian Su. Another was Yumi from the girl group Bai Tu. In response to Yumi's implication, Bai Tu Studio blasted those rumors as false and posted a picture of a police report that apparently filed. To this, Li Jinglei responded by resharing that post and said, Please give me the police contact information. I will provide evidence. Thank you. She is not messing around. As a result of Li Jinglei's expose, many brands cut ties with Wang Li Hong. According to this SCMP article, Infinity, Read Boy, and Green Monday were among those who did. So at this point, Wang Li Hong hadn't responded to any of this, but his father, Wang Dachong, took the initiative and spoke out. Papa Wang sent a handwritten letter to Taiwanese media to defend his son. Among other things, he accused Li Jinglei of using her pregnancy as a means to marry into the family. He also denied his son's cheating claims and revealed that they had already agreed to give her hundreds of millions in new Taiwan dollars, the house, living expenses, two nannies, one helper, and one dedicated driver, plus the children's living and education expenses. To this, Li Jinglei responded with another lengthy social media post to address and rebut all of Papa Wang's accusations. At the end of it was a screenshot of what she called a bribe from Wang Lihong. 
give you the Wujiang condo and you tell the media today that your accusations were groundless. You've just been too upset and not feeling well, so we're not thinking clearly. Li Hong is not guilty of those things and you apologize. Earlier today, Wang Li Hong finally broke his silence and shared a multi-page post of his own on social media. Among other things, he said Li Jinglei was 26 years old, not a minor, when he first contacted her by email. He also claimed that he was living under fear, extortion, and danger during his marriage, and emphasized that they got married because Li Jinglei threatened to take their child away from him. Lastly, he apologized to all those implicated and said he would respond to Li Jinglei's false allegations one by one. And the saga continues. There's like a new update an hour on this. There's probably already updates I haven't touched on. Now this whole thing I found quite unexpected because Wang Lihong, at least from my perspective, always had a pretty good you know, public image and persona. How this one's gonna end remains to be seen, but like I said, this is going from a low-key divorce announcement to a full-blown public mudslinging contest. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 103, December 19th, 2021. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They release top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. I am the years, you are the stars. The modern drama stars Estelle Chen and Liu Haikuan. Number 9. Party A Who Lives Beside Me. The modern drama stars Xie Bingbing and Wang Zixuan. Number 8. Mysterious Investigators. The costume drama stars Zheng Ziye and Han Dongling. Number 7. Delicious Romance. The modern drama stars Frida Lee, Baby Zhang, and Naomi Wang. Number 6. Light of Love. The modern drama stars Liu Luo and Cheng Xiao. Number 5, My Heart, the costume drama stars Cheng Xiao and Jason Gu. Number 4, If Voice Has Memory, the modern drama stars Miles Wei and Pan Mei Ye. Number 3, The Psychologist, the modern drama stars Yang Zi and Jing Boran. Number 2, Who Is the Murderer, the modern drama stars Xiao Li Ying and Xiao Yang. And number 1, Luoyang, the costume drama stars Huang Xuan, Wang Yibo, and Victoria Song. Luoyang is the top web drama of the week for a second week running. It garnered 587 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, To Fly With You, the modern drama stars Lorena Song and Wang Anyu. Number 9, Star of Ocean, the modern drama stars Liu Tao and Raymond Lam. Number 8, Dream Garden, the modern drama stars Simon Gong and Bridget Chiao. Number 7, Happiness is Easy, the modern drama stars Chen Jianbing and Mei Ting. Number 6, Swords No Stride, the costume drama stars Zhang Ruoyun and Li Gengxi. Number 5, Dear Children, the retro drama stars Lennox Liu and Lia Ma. Number 4, The Memory About You, the modern drama stars Emily Xu and Yang Xuan. Number 3, Novo Land Pearl Eclipse, the costume drama stars Yang Mi and William Chan. Number 2, Ebola Fighters, the modern drama stars Luo Qing and Rachel Mao. And number 1, A Little Mood for Love, the modern drama stars Zhou Xun and Huang Lei. A Little Mood for Love ends the week with 585 points, making it champion for the first time since its premiere. And that gives me the perfect score for my predictions I made on Thursday on who today's champions would be. In any case, there it is guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!